antiseptic technique is the process of carrying out a procedure in a way that eliminates or minimises the opportunity for infectious agents to be passed along from health professional to patient. This is relevant when an invasive device such as a drain or a catheter is used, or when the area is particularly vulnerable to infection, for example a surgical wound. In the case of Ms. Anna Berowitz, the septic technique will be used to remove her dressing, take a swab for culture and sensitivity, and clean and redress her, her drain wound, which is showing signs of infection. The skill should be performed in as clean an environment as possible. Blankets, clothing and anything in the way should be removed, and a drape may be used to maintain patient privacy and comfort. The skill should be performed only when required to limit the chance of infection. If there is an indication that the dressing needs to be changed, for example, if the wound is showing signs of infection or ooze, then it would be appropriate. The skill can be undertaken bedside or in a procedure room. Necessary equipment for a septic technique is a dressing trolley, which must be cleaned before and after with a detergent wipe, for example, a tuffy. You need a standard sterile dressing pack, which contains a sterile field, a plastic tray, disposable forceps, cord, and a drape. You need fluids for cleansing and irrigation, and normal saline is most commonly used. You need hypoallergenic tape. Uh, you also need a dressing which is appropriate for the type of wound that you will be redressing. You need alcohol hand rubs and a rubbish bag to dispose of the waste with a clip attached to it. And um, you also need some personal protective equipment, so you need an apron. An apron, you need sterile gloves, non-sterile gloves, and um, glasses which are optional. For the swabbing of a wound, you need a wound swab, sterile gloves, you need a disposable bag, which is the specimen bag, and you also need this form, which you fill out and you take to pathology. Next, you explain the procedure to the patient. Hello Anna, my name's Emily. Is it okay if I just um, do a swab of your wound and redress it? Okay. Yes, sure. The next step is to arrange analgesia if required. Then perform hand hygiene using alcohol rub or with soap and water. Clean the dressing trolley with detergent wipes and place um, everything on the bottom shelf. Collect all equipment and place on the bottom shelf. Yep. Put on a disposable apron. Next, you take the trolley to the patient's room and ensure that the environment is free from clutter. Remove the blankets and place the patient in a comfortable position. Again, clean your hands with alcohol hand rub and then don non sterile gloves. Okay. Now open the outer corner.